Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we talk about Capterium. So, um, Capterium states it's um, it's impossible for distributed system to simultaneously provide more than two of these. More of more than two of these guarantees: consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. So let's talk about what everything means. Let's talk about consistency first. Consistency means all clients see the same data at the same time, no matter which node they connected to. On the other hand, availability means any client which requests data get a response even if some of the nodes are down. The partition tolerance, partition, uh, a partition indicates a communication break down between two nodes partition tolerance mean mean uh, means the system continues to operate despite network partitions so we said that the captain said that it's impossible for any distributed system to guarantee all the three together we have we can <coughs> we can have two sorry for coughing we have we can guarantee two and the third it will, will it will sacrifice it or maybe we'll optimize it to make it quite good in our system so we will end up with this um with this uh, like draw if you want to say uh, as a draw that would be good so we have three type of systems a CB system, which is a consistency and partition and tolerance while sacrificing availability. We have a CE system, consistency and availability together while sacrificing partition tolerance. And we have EB system, availability and partition tolerance while sacrificing the consistency. So, um, um, a CB, um, um, let's talk about first about the uh, a CB system. So, a CB system, a CB key value store supports consistency and partition tolerance as, uh, while sacrificing availability. And and the uh, the AB as well, we're sacrificing the consistency. However, let's talk about the CE quite uh, a bit because some of you say, okay, let's just uh, have the consistency and the availability, and let's just sacrifice the partition tolerance. But a CE key value uh, uh, store, for example, or a CE key value system um, um, supports consistency and availability while sacrificing partition. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still ill. Um, uh, what, 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 what I was saying, yeah, we will talk about the uh, CE system. So, a CE system, st uh, a CE system supports consistency and availability while sacrificing partition tolerance. However, since network failures, it's unavoidable. A distributed system must tolerate network partition. Thus, a CE system cannot exist in a real world application. It's a quite important. So you find yourself in your system design interviews, you are thinking between a CB system and a B system. And it's important to ask in your system design interview, okay, so do we prefer our application to be highly available or do we want our application to be super consistent? So for example, if we are if you are designing a banking system, the consistency is more important than the availability. If you are designing um, a news feed, the availability is way more important. If you are designing a um, NoSQL database, like a key value store, availability is important. Then uh, the, CB, uh, um, the, the consistency and your design, it will be about how to achieve the availability and, and, and how to um, improve the consistency of your system. So this is, uh, um, this is what is the cab, um, uh, uh, theorem and in terms of system design interviews you don't need to know more than that it just basically you, you already have to know it on high level in terms of system design interviews if you are uh, working on networking or or architect in AWS it's not you, you I guess you may need to take deep dive but in terms of system design this is great so again we said that cap theorem it said that it's impossible to guarantee all three things 
all three of these uh, guarantees, the consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. And we already could um, try to have two and sacrifice the third. And since <coughs> the partition tolerance is not avoidable, we cannot avoid the partition tolerance it's in the distributed system. We have a CB and AB system, and most of our systems, it will be most of our distributed systems that we will design, it will be between CB and AB. So that's it for today's video, and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss a video, and see you in future problem.